Welcome to Willow Williams' backstory. He is a supporting character in the story. Some information about him. His age at the beginning of the story is 28. His occupation is teacher. He is 5 foot 7. His sexual orientation is homosexual. He has no siblings. His favorite pastime is dancing. He lives in Toronto, Canada, and his ethnicity is Canadian. And his sculpt is a Dol Chateau Erin hybrid. Willow has always been special. Willow was found on his adoptive parents' doorstep with no trace of where he came from. Willow carries the spirit of the Greek god Pan, thus causing him to have goat legs, a tail, and horns. In order to hide his legs, his parents made him wear pants all the time and would say that he had a goat fetish to explain why he wore hoof-shaped shoes. They also said that his horns were just a headband and his tail was just a pin-on. As a child, Willow was extremely calm, thick-skinned and low-tempered. Nothing really bothered him. Kids would try to bully Willow because he was strange and different. He would always ignore them. One day, however, his bullies discovered his one trigger that would enrage him. When he was discovered, he had a teddy bear with him, and he was very attached to this bear and would take it everywhere but school. His bullies one day got a hold of this bear, and Willow's temper erupted like a volcano as he transformed into his true identity for the first time. He took the shape of a flaming goat creature. The bullies were oddly quiet after that day. Once Willow hit puberty, his tail inverted and disappeared, and his horns fell off. He didn't have any worry about this. Before starting grade 9, he met his first magical entity, a pixie. Willow was overjoyed to meet something non-human just like him, and the pixie felt the same. The pixie showed Willow how to make his coat legs appear human with magic. When Willow entered high school, he appeared just like a regular human. He was no longer bullied and made lots of friends. Willow's parents were shocked to discover their son was popular overnight. Post high school, Willow went to university on a path to become a teacher. On top of being a full-time student, he worked two jobs, one as a tutor and the other as a fast food worker. He was extremely tired but motivated to achieve his goals. It helped that he met his now best friend Charles who took him out dancing from time to time to blow off steam. When Willow graduated, he was offered to teach abroad, thus allowing him to work right away. His other option was to wait in his home city and slowly grind the ranks into being a full-time teacher. Willow took the job abroad and was off to Japan. He worked there for two years, visiting family and friends during the summers. He loved being abroad, but missed his family and friends dearly. So Willow decided to return to Toronto, where he teaches at Ryerson part-time and at Georgian College 